And now, Sportsline. Salmon Hockey Rink is a majestic venue that attracts teams from all around the region, but it's also an older rink that needs upgrades. And the Salmon Youth Hockey Association has started a fundraiser to make it happen. The Continental Divide provides a unique and beautiful backdrop for the Salmon Hockey Rink. In an era of indoor facilities, this outdoor venue still stands and thrives. But the rink needs upgrades for the Salmon Youth Hockey Association to keep up with other programs. It's kind of exceeded its lifetime and um, you know I think the way that we've looked at it in certain aspects is that boy do we spend a lot of volunteer time redoing the same things year after year and I think for me as uh, somebody involved on the coaching side the hope is that we can start to spend a few more of those volunteer hours directed back towards the players and not just the facility. It's time to move this program forward and I think that's the way that we can, we can do that. That's why the SYHA started fundraising for rink upgrades last week. The $300,000 advancements include a concrete rink surface along with new refrigeration piping, boards and a penalty box. Joel Griffith and Kimberly Nelson say it would extend the season and bring in more out of town opponents. If we're able to extend that season, we see that as a minimal extension of one month. Two weeks on the fall side and two weeks as we get towards the latter part of winter. And, and that would mean so much to these kids. I, I, really, I really think that's the case. We have so many people that want to come to Salmon Hockey to play on our rink. But we can't, we only have so many weekends in the year that we can put kiddos on the ice. So if we can expand this, then we can maybe even host a couple more home tournaments to bring in other folks to play under the lights. And with hockey providing the second most tourist revenue of any industry in the city, the upgrades would help Salmon tremendously. 1.7 million is what we figured hockey generated that one season in 2019 when we tracked it. And that is in hotel, restaurants, groceries, fuel, you know, lots of opportunity for these different areas to come in and support our local economy. The SYHA is looking to raise the funds within the next four years through grant writing, donations, and fundraising. That includes a GoFundMe where you can donate, and the link to the GoFundMe is on our website at localnews8.com.